Uh, I'd like to call to order this uh, meeting of the Board of County Commissioners. Uh, we do have a form here and have all the commissioners here, so we appreciate you coming tonight. Um, pledge, if you'll join me in the Pledge of Allegiance and Invitation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God. You know, we're, we're spam, and we're unlikely to change, and, and uh, 
apparently is on the opposite side of that view. One of the reasons that that's not a good idea is because we're not speaking just for ourselves, but for a lot of citizens in the county. And having those one-on-one -on -one discussions would mean that we're not allowing those people to be privy to the information that's passed back and forth. We put this issue in the public by signing the letter of support. It really doesn't matter if you sign it one at a time, it's still signed in one letter and looks like an official decision of the board. In truth, it is. I remind you once again that the support letter you signed was both inappropriate and unethical. We may not have legal liability for it simply because there is no specific law against it. But you still need to acknowledge the fact that you didn't have any idea how many citizens were put to the support of the casino. Even if you had known the percentage, your letter by wording indicated fully that they were supported by all of us. I want to remind you that you can legally withdraw your individual support just by writing another letter stating that you no longer support the proposed casino. You don't need to take a vote and you don't need a single other opinion from the board. Just as our days are numbered and unknown, so are your days to correct the bad decision. Thank you. Thank you. Madam Procade. Can you come forward? Take your address, please. Adam Procade, 1005, Sunday Woods, Bessemer City, 7.1 miles from ground zero. The prevailing justification for a casino that I hear from most of you is jobs, so I thought I'd enlighten the council with some facts about what you might not be aware of. To start things off, I ask what is the number of jobs that have been promised? The media propaganda started at 4,000 jobs and has now dropped to 2,500. Since larger gambling facilities employ around 1,500 employees, I can only assume the developers have included construction jobs in this estimate. Let's dissect those for a moment. Are you aware that the Catawba Tribe has already entered an agreement with a general contractor owned by the Lumbee Indian Tribe to build this casino should it be approved? This means that not only will none of the construction jobs provide any local benefit, but there is no chance that a local PC such as Bean could bid for it and win this contract. Moving on to the actual jobs <coughs> associated with the operation of the casino, we run into our next roadblock for the jobs. The college chief Harris's wife has made several statements in the media that this casino will solve the Catawba tribe's unemployment woes. I don't think anyone should really be surprised at this. The reservation is only a 25 minute drive from the casino location. This will eliminate the majority of the entry level service jobs as some have been banking on going to the local population. Lastly, we look at the mid and upper level management and supervisory jobs that could actually benefit the community. Historically, we find in our research that an overwhelming majority of cases, these jobs go to people imported from elsewhere. This only makes sense if you look at it dispassionately. It's not like Cleveland County is brimming with people trained and experienced in running a gambling store. To summarize our dissection of the jobs propaganda, we find that the Cleveland County area will likely gain a couple of hundred full-time entry-level service jobs, and perhaps another couple of hundred part-time non-benefited jobs in other areas. As to be expected, some questions arise upon completion of such an examination. Does this relatively minor job impact justify the overwhelmingly negative fallout associated with it? How many jobs does it take to make it worthwhile to destroy one locally owned family run business and the jobs associated with it? How many jobs does it take to make it okay to transfer four and a half million dollars each year from our economy into an out of state owner's bank account? And although there are certainly many other questions we could ask, I think I'll finish with perhaps the most important one of all. How many jobs does it take to justify an increased number of women and children in this area being emotionally, physically abused, financially stressed and deprived, or perhaps even abandoned through the creation of hundreds of new gambling habits? Thank you. Thank you. Commissioners, the next item on the agenda is the consent agenda. And for that, I'll turn it over to our county manager, Mr. Richardson. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Appreciate the opportunity to meet here this evening for uh, several things uh, that are before you this evening for your consideration. Uh, I have several budget amendments, uh, budget amendment number 64. 
I will defer. And it is a budget amendment from our uh, Department of Social Services. And this is for the Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program. And this will be to allow uh, our county government to receive uh, federal funds, block grant funds, in the amount of $32,944 uh, to uh, continue to support this program for citizens in our county. Uh, the next budget amendment, budget amendment number 65. Uh, that budget amendment is from our health department and it is in our animal control program. And there are several uh, revenue streams, pots of money that we would bring forward, uh, total in the amount of $37,402. This money uh, is coming from uh, a variety of animal control grants, uh, as well as municipal revenue collected from municipalities in the county for uh, animal control services. And this money will be used for uh, vaccination, <coughs> a sound system, and for the purchase of a new vehicle that will be used in our, in our animal control program. And that's budget number 65, and that's also for your consideration this evening. Finally, the third item for your consideration uh, is item C. It's the number seven volunteer fire department budget, which is also continued this evening for your consideration. Uh, and that concludes the consent agenda, and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have. Commissioners, are there any questions about the consent agenda? Move to approve. Motion approved. Second. And a second. Thank you. Any other discussion? All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Move on to special recognition, and for that, I'd like to turn it over to Coach Holmer. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, like this time, I'd like to ask uh, Delta if you would present uh, the resolution on the board, or do I have that? Okay. <laughs> I have <laughs> it. I'll pass it down, let her read it, and then we would have it. She has said that verbally, then we'd like to recognize the gentleman, young gentleman on the floor. Commitment to excellence, not only on the basketball court, but also in the classroom. For volunteering your time and being a role model for you throughout the county. For your many athletic accomplishments, we commend you. And they'll present this to you the third day of June, 2014. Uh, if Dave can come up to the front of the roster, let Dave ask the commissioner to join in. County manager, please. take probably 10 or 15 minutes to uh, highlight the accomplishments and the awards of this young man, uh, but I, I won't do that. I know his parents have got to be mighty proud, justifiably. Uh, Mr. Hooker, I know you're proud to have a representative representing the school system that's accomplished what this young man has. Uh, you look at him and you, you see what high school scholastic athletes should embody. And that's uh, a gentleman, a leader, a scholar, a guy who lives a good life. And what he has accomplished uh, in athletics is parallel with academics. Uh, and you can't say that about a whole lot of student athletes in this world today. Uh, to be a member of the National Honor Society, I want to say, say the best statistic that he has, in my opinion, to the last. This young guy led the state in scoring. He's been picked uh, top 20 athlete in basketball for, by Parade Magazine, selects the Parade All-American team each year, one of the top 20 in the nation, also by another 
nationally recognized. Uh, well, it starts as an accrediting agency, but it's not really an accredited agency, but a nationally recognized uh, agency that picks outstanding athletes in all, all different types of sports. Been selected in the top 50 of that. Uh, it's been said about, well, he's, he's got a, a good uh, line about him, good bloodline, um, probably some truth to that. Uh, if, if, you, if you're a cousin of David Thompson, a lot can be said about you. Uh, if you also are family affiliated with uh, Alvin Gentry, there's a, a lot can be said for you on that too. But I, the last time I can remember a, a, a Shelby and a Cleveland County basketball player being uh, awarded the basketball player of the year in the state of North Carolina was David Thompson. I could be wrong on that. But I, I say that to say it doesn't come along very often uh, where, a, where a county and a city has a gentleman that is recognized as the outstanding player of the year. Uh, so all that be say, being said, he carries with him a 4.4 academic average. Student body president, all four years he's been in high school. <coughs> I think that speaks volumes about the kind of leader that he is. And uh, I guess we'll be seeing him on TV uh, <laughs> as a Tiger uh, because he's been awarded a scholarship to Clemson University. So we'll be honored to be able to see him play on, on TV and wish him the best of luck in a very, very tough league. But uh, we know he's a driven individual that accepts nothing but the best. And that's a compliment to his parents uh, and also to the school system for what they've invited in. So Gabe, congratulations. We'll, we'll be pulling for you and when you go to the ACC. We know you'll do great academically. And we'll be pulling for you athletically also. It's our pleasure to present you with a certificate. And with all the others that you have, we hope that this one will have a place of recognition that you'll look at and say, well, the county is really proud of me for what I've accomplished. But we are. Congratulations. <laughs>
things because the list goes on and on and on and on and on what he's accomplished and uh, it's a little bit of a struggle to try to pinpoint four or five things and what I've tried to say doesn't do you justice but uh, we're, we're so proud of you as, as, a, as a county and uh, we'll be pulling for you proud of those parents too who've gotten to know a little bit during the years. Richard, thank you for being here representing the school board. Thanks. We would let we would let the county commit uh, manager say a few words, but he bleeds blue. Mason and uh, Mr. President, 
the new president. So I'm going to let you stand and let her, let them know who's going to be up here next. Hi.
on the, the budget. And uh, anyone wishing to speak for or against the 2014-2015 budget, so please come forward, state your name and address, um, and comments will be directed to the board. Um, uh, if you have any questions, uh, please direct those to uh, the chair. And uh, we limit time to five minutes uh, on this. Anybody like to speak for or against the county budget?
be it's going to cost the county a lot. Starting off $154,000. Uh, hopefully we get our business. My understanding is now that we're, we're going to build a million dollar gun range uh, with taxpayer funding. I hope it's worth it. Uh, over five million dollars for debt service. What debts do we have that we're paying five million dollars in debt service? It looks to me like if we're getting one hundred fifty thousand dollars for investment, that we're paying five million dollars in debt service. That maybe we could take some of these investments, whatever they are. Uh, apparently, they're not, they're not generating a lot of revenue. Maybe we could funnel that in a bit. Please wrap up. Uh, no entry for payments to DCC for the old courthouse. What are we doing? What are we going to do with the courthouse? They're open now. I hope they're paying for themselves. Uh, no, no mention of higher valuation for property taxes, uh, bringing in more revenue. Uh, we purposely, I was in the meeting back here, we purposely did not reevaluate last year because. Evaluation would be low, and we would have to raise taxes. Mr. Williams, I appreciate your comments and your concerns. Please wrap it up because we, we're well over our. I see the bias in here. I don't see it. We're over your five minute limit. Five minute limit. Well, I need to have a five minute limit for something so important. Well, thank you. I appreciate you. you. Thank you. Appreciate your comments. Anyone else wish to speak for or against the county budget? Anyone else wish to speak for or against? Okay. Now I'll close the public hearing. Commissioner, there's no open discussion. Mr. Chair and I move that the 2014-2016 budget be approved as amended and as passed out in the public hearing. Got a motion to approve. Any other? Discussion? Is there a second? I'll, I'll make a second. Got a second. Any other discussion? I would. I, I think that a lot of questions was asked, but there's answers there. If the individual was sound, you know, with uh, with the county manager, because just in some of the speeds that he talked about it for the debt services and things that we've got, oh, we've got it. It's in there. The answer is in there. And uh, I think Jeff would be glad to sign up with him. And globally, so what you show him where they're at. I agree. I, mean, I, I don't think now is the appropriate time to have a longer list of, of questions at the well, time right, before right, this right, during, right. Our, during our uh, and, and anyone that wishes to can, can make a point to come to the county manager. I'll be happy to come and sit with you. Any other discussion? We've got a first and second. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Any opposed? Commissioners, the next item on the agenda is uh, turn it over to Chris Marks. Uh, or Bill. Bill. Turn it over to Bill. For planning department any kind of minimum housing code violation. Actually have two. We have two cases for your review tonight. Uh, first is 2544 Pleasant Hill Church Road. Property owner is William P. Dyson. And uh, we began working on this uh, back in December and have gone through the, the normal process and talked with. Uh, Mr. Dykes about 
on 50% side of And I'll be glad to answer your questions. Commissioner, do you have any questions? Yes, it's got a uh, tax value of two hundred and twelve dollars, and we've estimated the repairs at about five thousand five hundred. Mr. Hill, any issues with the
highways and prioritizing those highways. Uh, most of us uh, don't have any idea of the time that you spend, but I think we should say thank you for representing the Cleveland County so well in, in those board meetings. And I'll pass on to Well, uh, we, we did have an MPO meeting, most of that session. Uh, planning organization, and we're working on several projects. We're still continuing with the, uh, the bypass in Shelby. They're looking at several intersections. And why no uh, it's the interstate from Belmont like this away as most of any of you know you go to Charlotte in the morning, get caught coming back. So that that's been a big issue. We also had legislative like, day a couple of us went up to Raleigh. We met with the uh, our officials up there, we had a good meeting and, and hopefully we'll end up do some responding on the back. One of the, I guess one of the nicest things is Jason and I attended North Shelby School graduation. Somebody's been to North Shelby. Those kids have really worked for years to get to a place where they can make a difference in their lives and move on to the talent. Still looking for that time when it used to be where we could actually slow down a little bit instead of being full time mission instead of part time mission. I don't see it coming, but uh, as long as we're staying active and the county continues to grow, uh, I think that task is going to be more needed rather than less. Right. Thank you. 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 Thank
uh, I like to have, it's been a uh, last couple weeks has been a very humbling time and, uh, and, and a good time of reflection. North Shelby School, uh, the Memorial Day services uh, that we've had across the, the county uh, were very, uh, very moving and, and uh, uh, I think uh, very appropriate. Um, State of the Community Breakfast, we had that uh, uh, a week ago or so. Um, it went very well. Mark uh, was hosting Kings Mountain this time. Uh, we have uh, next State of the Community Breakfast is July the 16th, I believe, at Shelby. Um, and uh, the location will be announced soon on that. Uh, but I'd like to, to uh, since he's back in the room, I'd like to thank our, our county manager for really doing a good job as far as putting the budget uh, message together and connecting um, the budget back to the county goals. Uh, not only the goals that the, the commissioners have set, but also the goals of our department heads. And uh, I want to congratulate our, our, our department heads for working so hard to, uh, to bring something that we, uh, I think we can be very proud of. And do you have any other, anything else you'd like to say? No, sir, just thank you very much for that recognition. And I appreciate you recognizing more than anything uh, the fine department heads and the fine departments that we've got in Cleveland County government. Highly responsive team of people that work very hard every day. And it's been my sincere pleasure to work with these folks and, and to be able to continue to do so in the next year will be just a very, very exciting time for us. So thank you, sir. Thank you. Commissioners, with that, there's no other business. I'm going to have a motion to Make a motion. I got a first, second, third. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Thank you.